Rudy, uh, just it really seemed like Nicola had it going, especially in that third quarter. Just what were you seeing out there and what made it so difficult to, to stop him? I mean, he was, he was in the zone. <laughs> I mean, it's a couple of shots that I, I think I actually blocked and the ball went in and it was, I mean, it was just incredible in that quarter, you know, put the team on his back. Um, and it was, uh, yeah, he was making everything, you know, drawing fouls and getting to the line. So definitely, uh, I mean, one of those stretches that we, we we're going to watch the film, see what the things we, I think there's things we should have done better, but there's also a place that he made that I think, uh, you know, are, are tough to, yeah, tough to counter. Is that? Can we lower the light? Is that demoralizing when that's happening, or how? Like when there's just you throwing everything you have at him and, and you can't get a stop. I mean, what, what's what's just what? How do you keep your head in it? I mean, we keep we gotta keep our head. You know, I think that's the story for us. Is just uh, we know he's a one of a kind player. We know he's gonna make some incredible plays, uh, but we gotta keep we gotta keep battling. We gotta keep uh, making it tough on him, fighting him, and. And when he when he scores, if he scores, uh, and he will score, uh, you know, at some point, uh, we gotta um, yeah, we gotta keep playing, you know, and then take it right right back at them. And uh, I think we did a good job doing that in the first half. Second half, we got a little too demoralized a little bit, and uh, we can't have that. You know, we I think we have to be mentally tougher individually and collectively to be able to keep playing our game and not, not let anything that happened in the game uh, affect the way we play and the way we affect our confidence to and the way we compete. So often you and Mike um, pick and rolls is a pretty good counter when the other team is putting a lot of defensive attention on Ant. When Mike's not out there, what are things you think you guys can go to um, to, to loosen things up? I think um, just keep the ball moving, keep the ball flowing, you know. Uh, just try to run our, our actions, you know, and uh, that alleviates some of the pressure on end and that allows, you know, uh, that, that makes the defense move a little bit. And, you know, I think a lot of guys are able to um, make the right play, you know, uh, Nikhil, Jaden, I mean, all these guys are able to make the right play. We just got to uh, find ways to get into the flow of our offense and not get too uh, stagnant. I suppose this could work for both Rudy and Nikhil. You guys were first in the West for big chunks in the season. 6-0 to start the playoffs, 2-0 and against this team. First time all year you've lost three in a row. Just what's the belief level headed back to Minnesota for game six? Um, I think the one thing about our team is uh, our confidence in each other. And we know that we're going home and uh, we're going to make the adjustments like Rudy said uh, there's great parts throughout the game where we're getting good looks um, we make two three four shots obviously it's good to say but they're open shots like we make some of those and then you're looking at a whole new game um, a lot of the mistakes when we got into the locker room we looked at it and we're like this is things we can control um, it wasn't really the game plan uh, we were executing, getting in the right positions. We just got to capitalize. And I think when you lose like that, you, you can take something away. And when it's something you can control, you just focus on making it better. Um, I think if it was a, if we felt like we had lost in something different, then we had to plan, figure it out. But we have the answers. We just got to continue to make the right plays that we've been doing that's got us to 6-0 start. Um, continue to trust each other because we're a great team with great players and just be ready. Nikhil, Rudy kind of referenced this just now, but in terms of mental toughness and, and kind of composure and things like that, how do you guys fight the fight the urge to maybe let a game get out of control or, or kind of lose your emotions maybe as, as you maybe have in some of these previous games here and tonight? The thing is just competition. And in the midst of competition, you got to keep the, big, the main thing the main thing, and that's winning. They're going to go on runs. They're a great team. Sometimes we might make mistakes, but as a team and as a unit, we just got to let go of those things. Um, a lot of things with mental toughness is not holding on to the past, good and bad. Uh, handling success, handling defeat. Right now, we just got to go back to the drawing board, come together, and 
be ready for game six. Like, there's not much um, hanging your heads. There's not much time to, like, really dwell, um, even in the game. Like, it's a fast-paced game, and the way that they were playing this evening was even faster. And so we just got to be better at getting to the next thing, trusting our stuff, trusting our work, and we'll be fine. Rudy, you mentioned after game four that there's maybe some more opportunity to go to you inside on the roll that happened in, in this game. How much can can going you guys playing on the inside be part of the answer for you offensively going forward as a team? Um, I truly believe that part of who we are is, is our size, you know, and it's the fact that we have bigs that can um, punish those mis mismatches. Uh, you know, we did a lot of cat in the post, and I think it was really good offense for us all the times we did it. And, uh, and yeah, finding finding our bigs in the, on the rolls, finding our bigs in the mismatches, I think uh, a lot of time he ends up being a foul or he ends up being a wide open three or a basket, you know, so uh, the hardest thing is to, to do it. You know, they, they're doing a great job with their length, you know, try to take away those passes. Try, try to make it hard on our guards uh, to, to find us. So um, I think we're getting better and better, you know. And uh, um, as long as we keep, like, like Nikhil said, keep trying to make the right play, uh, you know, I think uh, I think we'll be fine. You know, we and we've done it. We just haven't done it consistently yet, but we've done it, you know, uh, for the most part of the game. And and uh, and good things happen when we do that. Rudy, over the last three games, uh, they seem to have gotten off to faster starts than you guys. What, what needs to change in order for you guys to not play from behind the way you guys have been playing the last three games? I thought tonight we, uh, I thought we played the right way at the beginning of the game. Uh, you know, we were in the game. Uh, even in the second quarter, we, I felt like we should have, we should have got much more like bigger of a lead. You know, we, uh, we. Didn't capitalize on some, you know, some fast breaks and some some plays that I thought we, I thought I think we will, uh, game six. So uh, a lot of it is just uh, mental focus, I think, you know, and uh, and it's on us to uh, in those moments try to, um, like Nikhil said, to keep our poise, you know, and slow down a little bit, just make the easy right play that is there in front of us, and uh, and. We've done it too, you know. We we just got to do it, try to do it consistently. Uh, and when we do that, you know, we've had against Phoenix, we, we we've done it against Denver, we've done it game one um, and two. And if when we do that, we we good things happen for us. And I truly, uh, I really feel like our offense affected our defense again tonight. You know, I think some of those turnovers um, gave them confidence, gave them life. You know, and. Uh, they got way too many fast break points. 